Hello YouTubers, in a previous video which is available here, I have done this one, I got a LED and a button, switch it on, when I press the button, it's on, press it again, off, press it again, on. Now see the light is on, in this state, if I remove the power and when the power comes back again, this is off, it doesn't remember the last position, I have to do it again manually, for that, we can use an EP-ROM like this, to save the last state. Let's do this one. The wiring diagram is here. More about this EEP ROM module. I have made a separate video. It's available here. There I have explained how to do the addressing, how to do the read and write. Now the button here, whenever we press the button, it toggles the LED and the microcontroller right to the EEP ROM module is whether it's on or off. Whenever the power goes off and restart the microcontroller, the microcontroller checks the EEP ROM and uh, read it and it finds it's on or off. According to it, it's on or off. The wiring connections are like this. I have opened the cube IDE. If anybody doesn't know how to install cube IDE, I have made a separate video, it's available here. We can continue, click system core, click sys. For the debug, select serial wire. For the pin PA1, GPIO output. Pin PB1, GPIO EXTI1. Now we click NVIC and EXTI line 1 interrupt, the last one, we tick it. Click connectivity, I2C1, for the I2C, I2C. EEP ROM can work with fast mode, so we configuration, parameter setting, speed, we can select fast mode. That's all the setting. We can click save. The description below of this video, I have provided a link to a website address. I provided the code there to make it faster. When we go there, this is the one. Data sheet is here and it will work. I'm using this one. You can use any PROM in this series. Diagram pictures are here. Cube ID setting is here. We already done. For the code, we can copy and paste. In the user code begin PV, we copy and paste these lines. These are some variable to read and write. Go to Cube ID, user code begin PV. That's here. We paste it. And user code begin 2, we copy from here and uh, until user code N2, copy it and you go to user code begin 2, that's here, we paste it. And finally, user code begin 4, we copy from here until here, copy it. Uh, 4 is all the way down. User code begin 4 is here and we paste it. That's all the code. We can click save. What is happening here is in the user code begin 2 when the program start, it check for the checking the memory in the EEP ROM and get the status LED. If it is no, switch off the LED. If it is yes, why? switch on the LED. This one I included for the first time, there won't be no or yes. So we have to write no in the beginning and switch off the LED. Whenever the button is pressed, we come here in the callback and we do the same thing, read. And if it is no, we write yes and switch on the LED. If it is Yes, 
we write no and switch off the LED. Now we can upload the code using the run button. You can straight away click OK. It will work. If it doesn't work, click debugger and for the debug probe, select open OCD and show generate option. Click this one and for the reset mode, software system reset. Click apply, click OK. It will work for all the boards. Yeah, the code is uploaded. I have uploaded the code. Switch it on, switch off, switch on. On the on state, we remove the power, put the power back in, still on. Now switch it off, remove the power, give the power, it's off. On, off. To remember the value, to read and write the values, instead of EEP ROM, we can use SD card or internal flash memory of the uh, STM32 microcontroller. We compare with the cost, write cycle and space needed. The cost, this is free, we can use the internally. SD card is more expensive than EEP ROM. The write cycle mean, whenever we write certain amount of time, it will wear out, then we can't use it anymore. So if for internal is only a little bit, this is okay, around 100,000. EEP ROM we can use up to 1 million times. It's a lot. Space needed mean in the microcontroller we need some space to keep the library for the uh, thing. For internal flash memory only few lines. For the SD card we need lot of space. So it's not good. Uh, for EEP ROM we can use one line to read, one line to write. So in my opinion at least EEP ROM is the best one. What do you think? Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, write down in the comment section below. I will try to answer as much as I can. Thank you. Bye.